Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez. I am an industrial designer with a master degree in additive manufacturing. And currently I am the workshop master of the tree printing workshop here in Alto University. Here in Alto University, we have one of the biggest tree print farms in all Finland with 35 Ultimaker printers. In the tree printing workshop in Alto University, uh, we're focused on provide technology to the students from design arts and all over all other departments in the university. So the idea is to have the technology for helping them accomplish their projects. So these projects could be from making some glass casting to ceramic casting and other types of, of development in product design or arts or design in general. The idea of the, of the workshop is to use 3D printing as a technology. So it's a bridge between processes. So obviously there are some students that can accomplish like a final prototype through 3D printing, but we also like to, to merge the 3D printing process into other more traditional processes. How I mentioned before, like casting ceramics is a good sample of it. Um, since the start, the students understand how 3D printing works how they accomplish their projects depends on their knowledge and how we share the knowledge for them. In that way, Ultimaker is very good to, for the students because these are very easy tools, so they manage to understand it very easily. And the workflow from Ultimaker is quite good for this. I think Ultimaker is like a very easy tool to start in their design process and accomplish very nice results. Also, another interesting thing that we do here in, in Alto is that we provide the students different types of materials. And the only reason that we are allowed to use different types of materials is because the Ultimaker printers are very helpful and useful for different materials. So we have been testing from TPU, um, the metal kit that just launched Ultimaker, so we can print in metal, in different type of uh, filaments and doesn't matter the type of filament, we are allowed to print it here. Uh, then continue with the materials we use here in Alto workshop. Uh, the different materials are from PLA, that is like one of the easiest materials to print with, to TPU, that is one of the hardest ones and is a little bit more industrial one. Uh, so in that sense, uh, Ultimaker technology makes our life a little bit easier here in Alto University. Right now in the tree printing workshop in Alto, we currently have 35 Ultimaker to Plus Connect and one Ultimaker 7. All of them are printing constantly, almost 24 seven. So they are for the students, so they can accomplish all type of projects. Uh, the workshop from Alto is open for all the Alto community. So in that sense, the application from Ultimakers is very extended. We go from casting in glass, print some positives for casting or making molds, we also use it for metal casting. We also use the tree printers for making and tree print molds, for making fast prototyping designs. And we also use it for architecture models, for furniture models or prototypes. So you can see like every single department in Alto is using it in a different way. And one of the more successful cases right now is the use of 3D printers into the fashion department and to print with fabrics also. For Alto University, it's very important to teach about new technology and new methods of manufacturing. In that sense, there is a specific course around Alto that the main goal is to teach the students how to use 3D printers and how successful a product could be from 3D printing and this world of open source kind of development. This course is based on having a final prototype, in this case it's a 3D print lamp. So all the students are allowed to design a 3D print lamp for the, pre, for the whole period. Um, so it's a very nice way to, to teach them the new technology. And at the end they will allocate at least 200 hours of printing the, themselves. The students are allowed to use the technology and they are allowed to slice their own files. So we teach them from the start to the end, yeah. So is the responsibility in this way to, to check their own files, to, to see if the settings they are picking from Ultimaker CUDA are the right ones. And then from CUDA, they can send it directly to the printers through Digital Factory. 